we are keepers of this beautiful art form. Because I love, changed my life. It's changed my life dramatically. When I saw like everybody playing, I said, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Capoeira is uh, art, martial art, dance, music. And capoeira was uh, developed in Brazil like around 400 years ago when the people was brought from Africa to Brazil was slave. I feel as though my life has been in a way luxurious and easy being in a sort of a country like Canada. and. When I think about where this art form came from and, and the suffering of the people that did it, it, it makes it very much easier to do the work to, to try to improve. So I, I guess it just makes me feel more like part of, of the world. <laughs> discipline, it's taught me about culture and, and traveling. Anyone can do it, you know, doesn't have like race, like age, nothing, you know. You just need to believe in yourself and try to do it. I feel like I'm in a, another world, you know? I'm not like in a human world, like I'm in a different world. I feel like some, some spirit will come inside of my body. Japanese martial arts are pretty much the same. That It's all about discipline. Can be smiling in the class. It's it's so strict. But in Capoeira, it's more relaxing. The music can make Capoeira completely different from the other martial arts. The music controls the way the players in the hall, the Capoeiristas, play Capoeira, and it controls the energy. If the energy is very high, the music is very energetic. that you get like this this bump you know and you feel inside and make you more excited to play capoeira it's more like jazz music when jazz musicians improvise they have a certain combinations that they like that they create the same as in capoeira you have a, like two or three moves combined together i'd say it's even freer in some way though than jazz in capoeira anything can happen <laughs> You could practice with me for 10 years, but in a roda, you're not me, you're not like 100% me, you are you. You have your own style, you have your own chinga. I guess it's the closest thing to a spiritual thing that I have in my life. I don't usually use those words a lot. I tend to be fairly practical. But when I when I come here, I'm, I'm overtaken by a kind of feeling of some kind of reverence for the, the power of people. In Capoeira, I find that it's more or less just a battle of yourself pushing yourself to become a stronger person. In Capoeira, I can do it anywhere. It's, it's, uh, you can even battle it inside your mind. When you play Capoeira against someone, you cannot fight the person as a person. 
It's like uh, you won't win. When you try to destroy another person's personality or spirit in them, you'll just beat yourself. And many people are brought into the world and they're simply given the, 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 the choices of life. But uh, many people just don't make the choices at all. In Capoeira, when you're put in that circle, you cannot not make a choice. You have to make the choice right away. And when you do, you see the, the consequences. The worst thing to do is to not make a choice at all. Everything is in your mind. You can learn everything what you want to do. Go and have fun, you know, it's not so serious like life, you know. Don't be so serious. Yeah.